What's up guys, JV2017 here, and I am bringing you a new Fallout 4 tips and tricks video. And this time we're looking at a lesser known side quest that allows you to have your own beer brewing robot. Just a quick reminder guys, this is your hub for daily Fallout 4 content here on YouTube, so make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and stay tuned on my channel for daily Fallout 4 tips and tricks videos. Today I'm going to show you how to get Buddy, the beer dispensing robot. He's connected to the Trouble Bruin side quest, but you can actually just send him to your own settlement and have him make some ice cold beer for your character. Not only is it cool to have Buddy hanging around your settlement, he can be quite useful for an alcoholic based party boy character. And I'm actually gonna have a character guide for you guys out this week that's going to benefit from this. And also you can give him certain recipes out in the world and he'll make some different variations of brews of beer, which is really cool. So there are a lot of different cool things you can do with Buddy, and that's what we're gonna focus on today. First off, you'll need to find Buddy, and he's located at the Shamrock Tap House, which is on the eastern side of the map, very, very close to Good Neighbor. It's just kind of east and a little bit south of that location, and it's right on the coast. So once you get there, you're gonna see this green door, and that's what you're gonna go through in order to get into the tap house. Now, once you're inside of the tap house, there will be some raiders. I'm using a level 15 character, so it really wasn't much of a challenge for me since I am sneaking around. It may be a little bit more difficult for you if you try to come here earlier in the game, but you're basically gonna go straight from that door, and then you're gonna see a staircase, take a right past the staircase, so don't take the staircase. Then there will be a lock here. You just have to have novice lock picking or lock Smith, so you don't have to worry about you know bringing Kate or anything. And then here is a total hack magazine, by the way, if you wanted to pick this up while you were here. It's probably easy to miss because it's weird that the mannequin is holding it. And then the door leading to the basement is just to the left of this staircase. And there's no lock on it, you just have to go through. And then you're in the basement. And it's really as easy as that. Buddy's down here, but you will need the password in order to get into him. Also, there will be some mole rats down here. Really no problem for any character. And once you've taken care of them, you will see Buddy here, but you need to unlock his terminal. It's got an expert lock on there. If you do have hacker, you know, you will be able to do that by yourself, but also you could just come up here. It's probably easier and less time consuming, honestly, having to hack through that to just come up here and grab the password. And that's all you need to do, grab it and then hop back down and you'll immediately be able to get access to Buddy. Once activated, Buddy will walk out and talk to you and this is where you can send him to whatever settlement you wanna send him to. However, he will offer you the Trouble Bruin quest, which is what I kind of covered in the beginning of this video. This video is really not about that side quest. It is about just getting Buddy for your settlement. However, in order to complete that side quest, you do have to deliver him to his location, which is the Rexford Hotel. We're not doing that in this video since we're deciding to keep him, but if you did want to complete this side quest, you know, for completionist reasons, you would have to deliver him to that hotel. Just wanted to clarify that. So you'll have to choose the option on the left when it comes up saying, I'm taking you with me basically. And then after a little bit more dialogue, you'll be able to pick where you want to send Buddy to which settlement you want him to go to. And before you leave, make sure and grab the key off of that desk with the terminal right there, because that gives you an easy way to just get out from the waterfront location right here. And at this point, it'll take Buddy a little while to walk where he needs to go. He walks very, very slowly. So wherever you sent him, just go ahead and head there. And then if you have a bed there, hopefully you do, just wait it out. Wait it out for about 12 hours, I would do. He takes just a very long time to walk where he needs to go. You know, Sanctuary is really far away. I guess if it's closer, it won't take him as much time, but he will take some time to get there. Just keep that in mind. So now that you have Buddy, let's talk about a few things that he can do for you. So first off, he generates ice cold beer daily. So once per 24 hours, he will generate some ice cold beer for you that you can just grab right off of his inventory. He can also cool different items that you can put into his inventory. So this only works for beer and Nuka beverages. So it won't work for the harder liquor or water, for example. You can ice cold chill basically beer and Nuka Cola, and that gives you some extra benefits. So there's definitely an actual benefit to this. This is not just a cosmetic fun thing to do. And the way that you do that is ask for a beer and then it pulls up the inventory screen. You can just very easily move Nuka you know, stuff into his inventory and then it will ice cold it for you in about 12 hours in game. So for example, if you put beer inside of Buddy, you're gonna get it back ice cold. It's gonna add 35 AP to that certain beer. And if you put Nuka inside, it's gonna add some extra health and action point regeneration. Additionally, you can actually go out and get some holotape Gwinnett recipes to bring back to Buddy so he can brew different variations of beer for you. So there are five different like brewery, tap house, bar locations around the Commonwealth that you can go and find these recipes at. So the first one is the Colonial Tap House, which is what we're looking at right here. It's in Diamond City. 
very accessible. It's up here, kind of the more high-end uppity place to drink, but this is actually something you're gonna have to steal. This one and the next one, you're gonna have to steal these, and you could do the Diamond City Blues quest in order to kind of clear out this bar, but otherwise, you're gonna have to steal this because there are a lot of people here and they will see you, everyone will attack you. So it's behind the bar location right here. As you can see, I used a stealth boy in order to steal it. Just make sure that your indicator says hidden or else everyone will attack you. Moving on, the next location is the third rail in Good Neighbor. This is another place you're gonna have to kind of sneak into because there are people everywhere. I'm not sure there's even a way to get this without using a stealth boy. So once you get inside, make sure to run down here and make sure that your indicator is already hidden because if you go down there and then use your stealth boy, people already know that you're there and it just won't work out for you. But you still have to be careful in watching that indicator. If it says detected and you even are using a stealth boy, you're still gonna get found out. People are gonna attack you. So just make sure that while you're using this you know, stealth boy that it says hidden. So you'll see when I walk up here, it's behind the bar on you know, near some, uh, some beer here. I am hidden, I am detected right now, but technically no one knows I'm there, but then it says hidden. I had a small window of time to just grab it right there. So that's something you're gonna have to watch for and maybe make a quick save before to make sure you get it right. Our next location is the Gwinnett Brewery, which is on the Eastern side of the map as well, very close to the castle and kind of south of Good Neighbor. So this one is a little bit tricky. You'll need a few things. First off, you'll either need Hacker or Nick in order to get into this brewery terminal. So keep that in mind. You need to hack through that in order to get into there. And also you'll need some parkour jumping skills. It took me a while to figure out how to get up here. I don't know if there's really another way, but you'll see me. This is pretty much what you have to do um, if you're kind of not great with jumping, I would advise you go into third person like I'm doing, and that should help you out with your footing and where you're actually jumping. So once you get to this location, I just went out on a limb and jumped up here. Again, I don't know if this is the best way to get up there, but this is how I did it. I jumped onto these things and kind of made my way over here. And this is kind of the platform that you're aiming for. We're trying to get onto the roof. That's the whole point. So down below, there's just a bunch of mire lurks. You really don't want to deal with them. They're really just a pain in the ass, but you want to get up to this brewery roof. And if you're like me, you may have some super mutants shooting at you from across the way. So just kind of keep that in mind with your health, keep a watch on that. So up here, there are two different rooms. There's one that's not gonna give you anything and then one that has the recipe. This is the one that has nothing. And this one has a bar door. And the way you get around that is just coming around here and then shooting the bar itself and it'll just pop open the door just like that. And then you're gonna want to head to the terminal here, the brewing systems terminal. And the thing with this one is it's actually already in the machine. So you have to go down and click eject holotape in order to get this recipe. Our fourth recipe is located in Beantown Brewery, which is a location that you should be familiar with if you've done Confidence Man, that side quest before, starts in Diamond City. But if you haven't done that, this is where it is located, kind of between Lexington and Diamond City. So once you're inside, you will deal with some raiders. There's one sleeping right here off to the right, and then you're going to go into the main room. That's where a bunch of raiders will be. There's going to be some uh, unique named raiders. I think Tower Tom is the name of kind of the big bad raider that you have to deal with, but you're going to sneak around along the catwalks and then make your way over to Tower Tom right here. And these guys are not too difficult. Honestly, if you've got enough ammunition, they won't give you much of a problem. And especially if you're a sneak based character like me, it's no problem whatsoever. But once you're in this room, the recipe will be sitting on the desk on the corner right there. Our final recipe location is actually back at Shamrock Tap House. And you may be wondering, why didn't you show this in the beginning? It's actually because this is the order I did it. And then I realized the last one was waiting for me back at the place that we started originally. So basically, you're going to go the exact same route, except you can take a right through that bathroom there, or you could go around. I didn't realize you could just take a right there. But this is where you go into the basement. You're just going to go through this door off to the right here. And then it's going to be kind of at the very end. So there's no real way to get this more quickly. I mean, if you're sneaking through here, there are a few raiders, like I said in the beginning but it's going to be sitting for you behind kind of this collapsed bar right there. Once you've collected all of your recipes, head back to wherever your buddy is in whatever settlement you decided to choose, and then you actually have to read the holotapes. You have to click on one of them and, you know, enter it into your Pip-Boy, put it in there, and then actually read it in order for you to be able to transfer it to Buddy. It's kind of weird, but you just have to do it to one of them, not all of them. So just do this once, and then once you've done it, you can actually just back out of your Pip-Boy and walk up to Buddy, and then the Soul Survivor will initiate a conversation that allows you to give him all 
of the recipes. And that's all there is to it. Now you have your buddy Protector Tron kind of hanging out, giving you some ice cold beverages and giving you some jokes whenever you ask for them in your settlement. So I'd like to know after watching this video, are you gonna go out and get buddy? Is this something that sounds fun to do? You know, the game's been out for a while now. Is this something you're going to do, you know, to just have something to do in the game? We're kind of all waiting on DLC and seeing what they're gonna say, but we have no news yet. So I figure, you know, this is just something fun to do and that's what it was for me while I was doing it for this video. All right, guys, today I showed you how to get the Drinking Buddy Protectatron in Fallout 4. And next time we'll cover more Fallout on my channel, so stay tuned for daily Fallout 4 tips and tricks videos. And remember that this is your hub for Fallout 4 content on YouTube. If you learned something new, remember to hit that like button. I would really appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe for more unique weapon guides, build guides, and general tips and tricks videos. Talk to you guys next time. Peace.